this one is probably the one that I was most looking forward to and I saw its inclusion in the box. Let's have a look. What's up everyone? We've had a couple of beer deliveries this week so I'm going to show you the first one that we've had so far. Now I've already done this as a short so if you want to check out the short version you can do by hitting the link but if you want to check out more in depth of what we've got then have a look in this box with me. The delivery is from Powder Monkey. Now we've got a podcast planned in with Powder Monkey for next week so this box was sent ahead of that and there's some excellent beers inside. So join me as we have a look to see what's in the box. As you can see, full box, one for each for me and Aaron. Not that we'll probably do one of each on the podcast. We'll probably do a couple, maybe three at a push. I don't think we'll really know what's going on if we drink a can each and have six beers in one episode. But you never know. So let's have a look and see what's inside. So we're starting with Scuttlebutt and Munich Hells. Now, I'm not a massive lager drinker, but myself and Aaron are getting into them um, more recently, probably following our chat with Pillars, um, the renowned lager brewery in London. Um, so this is a Munich Hells as a malt sweetness, subtle bready character from layers of Munich and Vienna malt. An all German hop profile perfectly balances malt with a soft bitterness and fresh fruit aroma from later editions of Huel Melon and Mandarina Bavaria. So, interested to try that one. And then we're going on to Monkey's Charge. Double dry hopped pale ale, 5.2%. Uh, Azaka and Amarillo in that one. Uh, got oats in the body as well, so that hopefully should be a nice thick pale ale as well. And then a pale wheat beer. Now there's a couple of styles in this box that I wouldn't normally try, including this and the Munich Hells, which I quite like getting a mystery box and a, a mixed box. Um, of different beers because otherwise I probably wouldn't pick them on spec um, if I was choosing to drink them myself um, but yeah Mary Rose uh, pale wheat beer 4.6% again an interesting pick and something good to talk about and again another one Drop Anchor Vienna Pale Ale now this is a pale ale clues in the title with a lot of Vienna um, in the malt base um, hopped with Citra and Eldorado, so I'd be interested to see what compared to um, normal pale ales with a malt base different with this one um, using Vienna uh, malts as opposed to probably um, you know your more pale traditional malts that you'd use in a pale ale. Um, so yeah, I'd be interested to see what that one brings to the table. Now this one is probably the one that I was most looking forward to when I saw its inclusion in the box. Let's have a look. Explosion West Coast. IPA. Now anyone that follows the channel, listens to the podcast, checks out our Instagram will know that West Coast is where me and Aaron predominantly like our beers, love the hazy stuff, love the hoppy fruity stuff, but a West Coast IPA is where we really, really, really would prefer to be. Um, an authentic West Coast IPA using the classic sea hops that helped launch craft beer revolution, a punchy hop aroma of pine citrus leaps out of the glass. Light crystal malt in the body is pushed aside by an assertive bitterness to give a thirst quenching finish. I mean, does that sound any better when it comes to West Coast IPA? You've got all your classic sea hops, Citra, Cascade, Centennial, Chinook, Et al, bitterness, pure bitterness, which is what we love about West Coast IPAs more so than anything, is that dry, sometimes cloying bitterness that just leaves you wanting more and going back for that second, third, fourth sip until it's all gone, which I'm really looking forward to that one. That is probably going to be a definite for the podcast, for both myself and Aaron, to be honest. Um, and then this one, again, a really interesting style that you don't see much of. Pitmaster Rye IPA, 4.8%. Now, as we've discussed on the show previously, when we did our um, Red Beer collaboration, we like these styles that you don't see a lot of, which is a shame you don't see a lot of them. Um, understandable that you see more of your hazy hoppy pale ales and things but the guys at Powder Monkey doing some really interesting um, things here. Um, this rye IPA is a sweet centre of caramel malts that will complement the natural caramelisation of any grilled marinated meats. The aroma is bursting with tropical and stone fruits from a dry hop of Matweka and Equinot 
pairs well with all meats and the hop notes and slightly drying finish will particularly accentuate spice. So I'm guessing, which we'll find out more from the guys when we speak to them, that this is a collaboration with a local business, um, uh, obviously a smokehouse, barbecue, uh, specialist restaurant, something like that. Um, but yeah, massive shout out um, to Elliot Carrington for sending these beers out to us. Um, Elliot was a home brewer to start with, who I've done a podcast with previously. Um, during lockdown, he was brewing the brewing beers in, in his garage, um, and he's gone on to get a job at a brewery at Powder Monkey, and by all accounts, he's doing really, really well. And some of these beers, um, and some more of the beers from Powder Monkey, have won um, national awards in Ciba. Um, so again, I'm really looking forward to checking out what beers have won awards, what beers are really doing really well for them, what is the inspiration behind making these beers and doing other things beyond um, you know, just churning out hazy pails which are predominantly flooding the market. So so yeah, massive, massive thanks to Elliot and team at Powder Monkey for sending those out to us. The podcast is coming very, very soon, um, so stay tuned for that. We've squeezed him into the schedule and I'm really looking forward to speaking to Elliot. He's a really good guy. Um, and I really enjoyed our chat when we uh, when we spoke during lockdown. So stay tuned for our thoughts on the beer, stay tuned for the podcast, and stay tuned for more content. But more importantly, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and spread the good word, and keep us making good content and drinking good beer with good people.